Hi everyone, welcome back to your second episode of Bobby's Hobbies. Today on the episode, we're going to open up a couple of um, value packs that I picked up from my local uh, pharmacy, pharmacy and uh, see what we can find in this. I've uh, got a couple more of the Tops Series 1 2021 value packs. There's going to be 30 cards, 40 cards in each pack, two of those. And something new that I have just got in my hot hands is the Heritage Series 2021. There's going to be 20 cards in each pack. And there's two packs that I got to pick up today. Just wanted to recap and talk about yesterday's video. Got this one and took a look at it. There I am, shiny as anything. Took a look at this card. And this was the Cito Sanchez rookie card, but this was the printing plate, the magenta printing plate. And it's a one of one. Taking a little look further on eBay and what aftermarket sellers have, uh, someone else has one of the other colored printing plates, and it looks like they're asking for $1,000 for their printing plates. So... That was a massive hit for me yesterday. Pretty stoked about that. So there's the uh, printing plate card. And then as you can see, that's the regular rookie card. And that's what the printing plate would press down on. So pretty cool to start off with the channel to get something like that. So I'll just leave that in the video as we're opening up. We'll start with the series one and just see where we go what we can get from there and then we'll go on to the heritage so again with the series one we're going to have 40 cards in this pack let's see if we can find anything i don't think we're going to get another plate like yesterday but you never know and I took a look through the cards that I got out of that hobby box yesterday and no variants, so that's okay. Josh Bell, I know I talked about him yesterday saying maybe he should go to another team. Taking a watch yesterday, it looks like he was traded at some point. Taking a look and seeing who we can get. Flip this around. There's that fighting card again. Blue Jays are playing right now. And it looks like they're down to Boston in the eighth inning. Maybe they'll make a comeback. Here's a numbered card. And it's a gold card out of... 2021 it's number 496 not too bad and sunny gray and there's these insert cards with these value packs and they look like you get an autograph but they're just a, a printed on auto but uh, kind of cool looking cards nonetheless Shohei Otani and Miggy So I don't know how many people are actually in the aftermarket for a printing plate like this. Definitely something that back in the day you never really saw a lot of. It's pretty cool. I wonder if it would actually fetch what the thousand dollars is uh, asking for. I don't know who has all that money to spend on a printing plate, but you never know. We'll go to pack number two. Open this one up. I'm pretty excited to see this heritage. I haven't opened up any of them yet. Nice to see what those cards look like. 
I've tried to stay away from the other YouTubers opening up boxes of the Heritage just so I can get a fresh look at it. Kind of learned my lesson last year. Pre-watching everyone opening all these cards and then it wasn't as exciting opening up my packs. Of course, it's always nice to open up your own, but you kind of knew what you were seeing as you were opening them and there wasn't that wasn't that surprise as much, so I kind of try and stay away now from it. Gold cup card. Oh, then we got a silver, ooh, shiny rookie. Not bad. Is it numbered? Not numbered. Well, that's all right. We'll take that. This is silver foil. Perfect. Put that one there. And another one of these cut cards. Pedro Martinez, of course. It's kind of a cool looking card. It's only the second one like this that I've had yesterday. I got an Achiro like that. Rookie Betts, Eloy Jimenez. And just fire away here real quick. Usually they tend to put all the good cards right in the middle. All the hit cards that you want to try and get. You usually find that in the middle of your pack. And the last one of this pack is Eric Sogard. So there you go. So there is our 2021 Series 1 value packs. We'll just put these cards off to the side. So if I was to pick... Out of all of these, I would say, let's move these out of the way just a little bit. I'd probably say these three here are my best cards out of the out of the two packs so far. Not too bad. And let's get into this heritage. So my understanding of the heritage, there's four, there's 500 cards in the set in the series, and the first 400 are common, and then the last cards 401 to 500 are uh, short print cards so anything 401 to 500 is going to be a short print not too sure what kind of variations they have in here what inserts they have again i have not looked at that so it's going to be a surprise to me without further ado let's get looking here so these cards in this series, I guess it takes from the 1972 Tops theme. Um, so that kind of has that funky look to it, as you can see. And from what I've also read on this is Kevin Biggio. We're not going to see him in the first series. They made an error, Tops made an error in the printing left him out by mistake and they're going to include him in the next series with the high numbers so if i'm looking for a calvin biggio here i am not going to get him but first off uh here's thor so not a bad little hit here first off good card all together i've never had any real luck historically no pun intended with the uh with the heritage cards i don't know why it just seems to be i don't really get the hits but there's one i was looking for so nate pearson i was looking for him in the series one yesterday didn't get him didn't get him in the packs i just opened but now i got him here so that's great that's who i was wanting to get a rookie for anyway i think he's going to be an all all-star at some point and you got some postseason card. Then a now card. Steve Carlton. Trevor Bauer. Now with the Dodgers. Here's your rookie cards. So from what I've seen historically in Heritage, they put two rookies together. I kind of like that idea. That's cool. You get two for the price of one. That's interesting. Haven't seen something like that before. It's like an old picture. 
Isn't that interesting? That's cool. Is it numbered? Hmm. Spencer Howard, rookie, with a picture of him. I'm going to assume that's him as a little kid. It's kind of cool. Interesting. Hugh Darvish. Mikey Stremski. These are all stars. Got rookie stars for the Mets. Mets are supposed to do some solid things this year. I know a lot of New Yorkers are. Met fans, or at least, are hoping for that. Let's dig in. So this will be the last pack that we have. Um, I do have some more packs of other varieties that over the next few days I'll be opening up. So you can certainly stay tuned and watch for more. Stick around. I'll have some more to open. Uh, probably next time I'll either have some baseball, some basketball, maybe football. And we might even get into Pokemon at some point. But... Uh, this will be our last baseball for the night, and this is again our second pack of the Heritage 2021 baseball. So not too bad, actually. The, it's a lot better than the pictures I've seen of it, a lot better in person looking at these. So kind of happy with that. Last year, the black borders didn't seem to do too much for me, but this one looks just a little more crisp. I like, I like how it's looking so far. There's the Kutch, like the Kutch, good player, hilarious, probably my favorite card of him from last year, him and Uncle Larry, hilarious, if you don't follow him on Twitter, you should, you'll get a good kick out of him every once in a while, Josh Bell in action, In action card, then and now, Jim Palmer, Garrett Cole, pretty cool. The rookie in action, Jesus Sanchez, cool, like the rookies. Yeti Molina in action. So again, haven't checked to see if any of these are short print or not. Maybe I'll do that right at the end. Flip through real quick and see if I can find anything. Or to save some time, maybe I'll just check and then I can let you know on the next video what I find. Save you some time and some grief. So there you go. That's it. There's four packs overall. I think uh, that one was pretty cool. I like the, the Heritage design surprisingly a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. I'm really happy with my Nate Pearson, was really hoping to get one of these, so now I have one. And yeah, I think if I could rate that, I would probably buy a few more packs of the Heritage just to see what else is out there. So uh, with that, I know it sounds like everyone says it, but be sure to subscribe. Give me a like. Let me know what you think of these videos. Let me know if there's something different you want to see. And until next time... Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.